Sam Owens here and uh, we have a relay right here that is really great for all kinds of applications where you want to turn something on. This is a DC relay, 12 volts, like uh, from a car battery. And uh, what you get uh, is just the relay right here and two remotes. And I've hooked this up so that we can save time for the demonstration and hooked a power cord here uh, to it. And this would uh, equate to my battery in the car. So this is my battery connection. And uh, we're going to be able to show a simple way of using the relay and then you can apply this to a lot of applications that you may have wanted to do in your car like mount a strip of lights on the front of the car underneath that you want to remotely turn them on uh, those kind of things this can do it's got two remote controls and uh, it, it, it will handle 40 amps so you can turn well pumps on and, and anything that was uh, that will uh, be up to draw up to 40 amps. Uh, gates at the end of your property, you want to remotely open them or something. This is a relay that you could wire up to do that, and uh, it operates uh, from uh, 12 volts to 72 volts. And uh, here is a basic wiring diagram. Now, I'm going to be putting information up above for you to review some of this information, and we'll see it up there. This is a basic operation, as you show here. It's uh, black and red. Red is positive, black is negative. Going in to these first two terminals, one through four, and that's where you would... Uh, put your battery voltage. This can be any source from a battery of a car or it could be a separate battery or anywhere where you have a power supply that prov provides 12 volts. It can go right here. Okay, and I'm going to provide the voltage through this and right here on this power station. The next uh, terminals are the output. This is the input and it says right there input and output DC not for AC at all. Okay uh, here is the positive and what this does is it internally there's a relay that when it operates from the remote control the relay operates and operates some contacts that come together and it takes the power on this lead and transfers it, keeps it on there, but it transfers power to this lead right here, the positive output. The negative side right here is permanently wired. It does not switch. This is the only switching lead. So you could just use one wire going to your gate out there if it has a negative source that's connected to this same battery. So those are things you're going to have to look at as to when do you need this ground lead. In a car, most of the time all you're going to need is the positive lead because most all lighting and stuff like that is already grounded and that's what I'm going to demonstrate is like in a car uh, a grounded uh, uh, lead for a light that you're going to try to operate remotely. We're going to put some voltage on this. Plug this in. I turn my uh, power station on and then activate the power here. A red light comes on there showing that. And now I have a little light here uh, that you'll be able to see. Now this is LED. LED lights have to have power going in the proper direction. This red lead needs to be on positive. The ground black is ground. So I'm going to put this on the ground which can go right here. Remember I said 
this ground is connected directly internally to this lead right here. So this is the same as if I clipped on to there. Now I'm going to touch this red lead to the positive and you will see that I have power on there. Right there. And actually this shows that it is working from there and actually it will work from over here also. So let me see if I can show you. There is ground coming in. So you have, uh, I'm on positive and this is the ground. Also it shows over here and the battery, uh, the relay is not operated. Now I'll show you, uh, let's look at this. I'm going to go here. Actually, I'm going to go here and clip on here. And see, the light does not come on because I do not have the relay operated. I'm going to operate the relay and that light will come on because the power is going to go from here to this lead right here. And there it is. And here it goes off. I can feel the relay clicking inside and each time it clicks it makes some contacts that takes the red lead here and connects it to there. Now it's off, but see if I go over here and touch this, it works. But this is supposed to be the same thing and now it works. And over here you can see it's drawing one watt that light is. And when I turn it off, goes to zero. So now that explains the relay very simply. Uh, now we're going to operate this and show you like if this were a car. And this is the chassis of the car, but uh, let's say that this is mounted in the dash and this is plastic, but you found a place under the dash that is metal, you could connect the black wire to that metal connection and that will be connected over to your negative terminal. And I'm going to show that with this. So we're going to say this is over here. This is showing that you don't have to run two wires always. You can use the frame of the car, but it has to be a non-painted, so if it's painted you've got to take the paint off a little bit or find a place that's not painted to get a good connection. And right there, there, okay. Now this is always grounded. This is the same as being right there. And I've got the negative side of the light connected to the frame. So current is going to be able to flow through these this metal to get to the ground. So I have the ground connected. Now here is the red lead. When I put positive on here, let's say from operating the relay, then this is my hot lead number three positive is going to be the switched lead I can take and connect these two, and I'm going to use this wire right here, this alligator clip, and to make it easy, I'm just going to clip this right on there. Now, we want to make sure you don't touch that when you do it, because that's ground. And I'm going to clip this. Now, when the relay operates, positive power is going to be transferred through the relay contact to this point right here. Power is going to flow through here, through the LED, over to the ground, which is here, back to the relay. So that's what's going to happen. That light should come on. And there it does, as you see. You may be in a situation like this that you don't. Let me turn this power off. You may be wanting to add a relay or a, a light 
into a place that's plastic or wood or something that does not have a frame. So in those cases, then you would want to be using this connection right here to wire along with the positive. So both of them would come together and then you would connect this and that. And that's where you would use these two where you want to send both positive and negative to the light because there's no way to hook to the ground. Uh, it may be in a plastic dash or something. So those that's the difference between the two things. And you can, uh, you don't want to upset the lights, like if you're going to do the blinker light and want it to flash for some reason, uh, you can just send out the positive signal to the light uh, lead, and it will do that because uh, the ground is going to be on the other side of it automatically. Okay, folks, I hope this has helped you. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching my video.